Hi, I'm Madeline. And I'm Cooper. Today is November 11th, 2009. Welcome to Webster City Middle School for the sixth show from the middle. Happy, Happy Veterans, Veterans Day. Day. Cooper, do you know what veterans are? Oh uh, yeah, veterans, like animal doctors, right? No, it's the people who have served in the military for the United States. Okay, well, while we straighten him out, let's go to the fifth graders to hear about their course concert and cool teachers. This is James, and have you ever wondered what teachers do when they aren't at school? Well, I have. So I'm going to ask fifth grade teachers, Ms. Willem and Mrs. Sadler, what they do for fun out of school. So, what are some things that you do out of school for fun? I like to go to rock concerts, read books, and play card games. Really? What's your favorite book series? I've read the Twilight series, and now I'm rereading it, and I'm excited for the movie coming out November 20th, New Moon. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mrs. Sadler, what do you do out of school for fun? For fun, I enjoy spending time with my husband. In fact, we just went to Dallas this weekend to see our two sons who live there, and we hope to see our daughter in St. Louis this Thanksgiving. And also, I enjoy spending time with our dog, Panda. What type of dog is it? Panda is a Landseer, Newfoundland. She's huge. See, she's 125 pounds. She's black and white. That's pretty cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. That's the scoop for today, but keep watching for more. Now here's Aiden. Hi, my name's Aiden and I'm a reporter for fifth grade and these kids behind me are practicing for the upcoming music concert. Well, anyway, we're having a music concert, like I said, here in fifth and sixth grade. So here are the details. We'll be singing songs like Sing World Peace, Listen to the Beat of My Heart, and, and America the Beautiful. We'll also be doing some recorder music like BA Marching Monsters, Bagzilla, and Scarily We Troll Along. We've been practicing for a long time now, so we'll be ready. The concert is Thursday, November 12th at 6.30 um, p.m. for fifth grade and 7.30 p.m. for sixth grade. So, so get into the spirit um, and join us here on Thursday. Uh, on Thursday at, at WCMS Webster City Middle School. Now back to the anchors. I remember sixth grade music. 3.1415926538979323. There. A bunch of digits of pi. I can be brilliant. Be brilliant. Okay, thanks, but you have a script. Now here's the sixth grade students for reports on PE in the human body. Hi, this is Sarah reporting on sixth grade science. The human body. Mr. Busson's homeroom class of sixth graders got to label the bones of a paper skeleton that was in pieces. All of the bones were separate except the ribs, shoulder blade, collarbone, and backbone, plus the radius and ulna for the forearm and the tibia and fibula for the lower legs. The hands and feet were also one. After having an adult to prove that the labeled bones were correct, the students cut the bones out and taped them together to create a paper skeleton that Mr. Busson hung above their desk in the classroom. This project was done on Wednesday, the 21st of October. They did this project because it went with what they were doing in science. The sixth grader sure found this project was fun. Now let's go to the next report. Hello, this is Christopher, and guess what? In PE, we're doing physical fitness tests. Yeah, I know, great, right? Well, let's get to the tests. Our first test is the pull-ups. Here, my friend will demonstrate. Remember to get a good grip. Next is the sit and reach. This one's kind of confusing, so I'll walk you through the steps. Step one, you're going to want to sit. And step two, reach. There you go, the sit and reach. Now we have pacers. What you do with them is run from one line to the other as many times as you can. Most people would give up, but you have to do 18, otherwise you're coming back. And nobody would want that, right?
Now, push-ups and sit-ups. What you do with those? Well, you push up and sit up. It's that easy. Now, the last and everyone's favorite by far, the mile. This one is probably the hardest and some people get a little tired. <laughs> You got three more laps. And that's it. Remember to do your best and not give up, ever. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, PE rules. People are really going to get their exercise now with wrestling and basketball starting. Okay, now let's go to the seventh graders for art and lunch. Hey, this is Tanner reporting on art. Lately we have been working on our commercial words. You make a list of six interesting words, then pick one to make a big poster of that word. After that, you work on monochromatic paintings. This is when you paint whole paintings with just one color. Like, for example, you would have black to make the color darker and white to make the color lighter. It's too bad I won't get to have it for the rest of the year. It's been great having art and reporting. Now here's Maddie. Hey, it's Maddie here. What's the favorite thing for most of the students at WCMS? Lunch. The majority of students prefer a mashed potato bar over the lunches. Yum. My favorite is chicken filet. I'm here with Jeff Reeves, the food service director, and I'm going to ask him a couple of questions about lunch. Do you know how many students eat approximately each day? We fix about 1,600 meals a day. And what's the student's favorite lunch? Uh, it's between Crispitos and Walking Tacos. What's the most difficult lunch to prepare for? Uh, chili with cinnamon rolls. Lunch is a time to socialize and visit with your friends, but remember to keep the voice level down, and there are only to be eight chairs to a table. One last thing before I send you back to the anchors. If your friend is sitting across the commons, please don't shout across the commons. Well, I'm going to go eat my lunch now, so back to the anchors. Today, today there was a special program out on the boulevard with some of our local veterans. This was complete with a flyover at 11 o'clock on the 11th day of the 11th month. I really like the 21 gun salute. Now let's go to the 8th graders with mock trial. Hi, this is Marshall reporting on mock trial. Mock trial is a competition that the 8th grade Project Explorer students have been practicing for the whole trimester. This is a case that has been given to us by the Iowa Bar Association. Students will be going to Mason City on November 12th and be lawyers for a day. This year's case is about a guy named Abraham Poley who is accused of starting a wildfire that has killed a man by the name of Dan Morehouse. Supposedly the fire that he had going for a party let off a spark that started this wildfire and started the Lake Lawrence and campground on fire. It's our job in mock trial to figure out if Poley is innocent or guilty. At the competition, we get a chance to prosecute or attack Pulley, and we get our chance to defend him on, and be on the defense. We can either be a witness or attorney on either side, but not both. If we are a witness for the prosecution, then we would be an attorney for the defense. This has taught us a lot about being lawyers and has been a great experience. This has been Marshall reporting on From the Middle. Now back to the anchors. Veterans are very important, I learned today. They fought for us, pr put their lives on the line, and protected our, our country. And today, everyone is remembering them and recognizing all they have done. Thanks to all the veterans. Have a great day. See, See you, you next, next time, time from, from the from Middle. The middle.